Mission Hello, how's it going? This is Simon Slava, and we're back on PWI again. And this time I'll be showing you a bit of FB29, a bit of information about it. But every class at 29, after doing their cultivation quests, will get a Call of Duty Quinzy, which is the FB29. The FB29 is actually located here in the Secret Passage. It's actually inside this instance. So we're on our way there now. It's not too difficult. You will need help though, because Quinzy is quite hard. A lot of people can't, well, most classes can't actually solo Quinzy themselves until 50 plus, so you do need help. But thanks to the addition of Bounty Hunters, a series of repeatable quests, you can get level 40 plus. You'll get people actually needing to kill Quinzy themselves, and they'll all be around 40 to 50. But again, because this one is quite a short FP, you'll be surprised at how many high levels will actually help you out and do this one for you. Which isn't actually all that bad. It didn't all take too long. Where's this kid going? So as you can see we're quite high. Might take a while to hit the floor. Oh, oh that dude's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt me good. Yeah. Tideborn actually, they weapon token quest is in this FB29. The weapon mold you can possibly get off it is actually low levels in the 20s, but you can actually leave it till 29 and do it all at once if you wanted to. So, waiting for Thalassocrat to get in here. Now you normally need a full squad of level 29s or you can probably get away with it with just one person for safety level 70 plus should be able to solo Quincy so as you can see again got my little assistant for Lazacrat and he'll be uh, helping us out here as you can see these mobs are all higher than me by far and even at 29 they'd still be higher than you well the passage is pretty simple you start off down here you gotta come up here all the way through this bit and the FB entrance is actually below short run through but there are quite a number of mobs in front of you but you will tend to find people have come through you just before you and everything is dead which is always nice nice easy run through I'll be back in a second. And we're back. Apparently we've got some other people. This is actually someone needing FB29. Well, not FB29, Bounty Hunter 29. As you can see, a high level coming along really does help.
So right here is actually the entrance to FE29, right below it. And at level 40 you'll get a quest for him, Dismal Shade. And then there is a massive wolf over there, but that's for a lot higher level. I think it's about 70 or 80 for that. Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty straightforward path to be honest. You once you've done it once or twice you'll kinda of remember it straight away. And this is actually FE twenty nine, the Hall of Deception. As you can see, Pillar of Duty Quingsy. You'll normally get a token or a tab, as people call it. You go to this, quest related, and activate it. And that way everyone will gain XP from your FP. Which is a nice little incentive for people helping out. You tend to have no problem at all getting people to help out on FBs because it gives you rep and actual XP. Yeah, normally you'd send a Vino or someone with this yellow genie with the base skill to pull one mob at a time. and then you take it back out of the way of the others and kill them one by one if you was in a full squad at this level these fellas you should be wary of Lantern of Ass, they actually explode on death and do a lot of damage a good example is if I was actually in that little explosion just there it would surprise me if I died <laughs> so he's nice to avoid but the way to Quingsy is actually this way, but the door is shut, so you can't actually get in. But you have to kill this huge tower down there. I'm not going to know, there's a lot of enemies in there. But you need to kill that to open the door. As you'll see, the Lazarus slowly moving his way towards it. Don't know if you can see that. Nice fella by it. Ah, oh, we're going to get a solid 30 frames per second. It's the same deal with these. You pull this with your Vino or your Genie, and you'll come out by you, pull him into a right by you. You can decimate him in you. But these little fellas only use magic, and they will not move from this spot. So you actually have to go in and kill both of them at the same time. But still, not all that difficult when you've got six people at 29. Or, as you've just seen there, someone at a higher level and just one shot KO everything. Now uh, this room can get quite annoying if everyone's level 29 but you've got to pull these one by one and they attack from a range as an AoE It can be very annoying for a cloud to try and keep everyone up but you could always do what he's probably just about to do <laughs> and do that, but you do need to be a fairly high level and this is the boss of FB29 He uses a mixture of magic and melee. It can be quite annoying. He still hits hard against my assassin, which is level 50. He probably still hits me for about 800, which is quite a lot as I've only got about 2000 HP. Yeah, he drops down quite quick with high level help. And you'll be doing this 
between level 40 and 50 as well on your bounty hunter. Series of quests you can get repeatable every day. And they give quite a lot of XP as well, so worth doing. Yeah, now if we switch to this, you see I got the weapon token. Now if you go all the way back to the hometown of Raging Tides and talk to General Chugnov, I think his name was. So again that Yeah, Chugnov, wherever. You might get a very nice mall from it. Which is always always nice. So yeah, this has been FB29 and BH29. I've been Sam and Slava. And I'll see you next time. Be back out the way. Later.